Good morning! Happy Feral Friday! It's currently 528. I'm going to a 7 a.m. solid core class today. If you guys saw my vlog on TikTok before, first of all, hello. How are you guys? I'm so rude. I just started talking out of nowhere. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Literally, God bless you. Um, anyways, go to a 7 a.m. solid core class. If you saw my vlog from on Sunday, I went to a 10 a.m. solid core class and and I really liked it. And so I'm going again today with my friend Brie. And I'm really excited. There's literally no better way to kick off a Feral Friday than a solid core class. And my abs were sore for like, probably like four or five days. Like they were getting me good in the abs. And speaking of my abdominal region, also just like don't look at my shirt. Like there's holes in it. I fake tan last night. Okay, well I only fake tan because I have really bad tan lines from my runs. I have like shorts tan lines. My, my outfit doesn't match. I know. Dude, I still read you. Okay, listen, listen to my story. Hold on. I have shorts tan lines and also my stomach like does not tan. My stomach is like pasty white and like bitch that's the one thing that I want to be crispy and tan. You fucking kidding me? This is like jingling. So I'm wearing this ugly ass outfit. There we go. I got that out of the way. Next I wake up this morning. You guys know how I was pissed about my ovulation. I think that was two Feral Fridays ago. I was like I started ovulating. I'm so pissed whatever because I only had like two days of my follicular phase right? <laughs> I wake up this morning and I start my period seven days early. What the fuck? I mean, like, that's fine. Honestly, I'm glad that I started my period because I was having, like, I was eating like a fucking cow and I was having, like, a bunch of symptoms and I was like, there's no way that I'm about to experience these symptoms for two weeks straight. Like, no, like, my period better start. So I'm glad that it started because I was like, I can't take another week of, like, these symptoms. I'm glad I started, but also why was my cycle um, 21 days? <laughs> Gotta get a fucking break around here, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, sorry, sorry for not being funny. So that's how my day is going. Got into the solid core class. I was 17th on the wait list. I already say that. I was 17th on the wait list, got into the class somehow, slay, and then I started my period this morning. So we'll see how the solid core class goes. Hopefully I don't have cramps. Yeah, I've been drinking my tea. Y'all know my, my periods have not been bad the past couple of months, but she came like a week early. So like I don't know what she's on, I don't know what her deal is. So hopefully she behaves herself. In solid core. Anyways, drink my caffeinated greens. I'm probably not gonna have breakfast before I go because it's a little bit, I have to leave in like an hour. And I don't wanna, you know what I mean? Anyways, let's go journal. Oh my God, wait, I'm out of, dude, I'm out of pages in my journal. Like I ran out of paper in my journal. And I think my new journal is coming in the mail today. You guys, I ordered new shoes the other day. Oh my God. And I ordered a new shirt. Cause you guys know I'm in like a little bit of like a feral era. And I have gone out more places in the past three weeks than I have in the past three years. I'm not even joking. Like I'm not even joking you. So like I need more outfits like desperately. And it's also because I've been looking at clothes. You guys know I usually get clothes like Abercrombie and stuff, but I've been looking at the clothes at Anthropology and at Free People. I've never bought any clothes from there, either of those stores before, but they're really cute. And I like have big fat cards stocked up from both stores. Anyways, I might get some stuff from there soon. Oh, and Zara, dude. I never usually shop at Zara either, but I have like a cart of like six or seven things from Zara too. Anyways, you guys, it's Feral Friday. We're going to Whole Foods today. What else do I have going on for the day? Oh, I have a campaign due today that I filmed yesterday. So I'm gonna edit and send in that. So now I have to journal. I'm also filming for TikTok this morning. I'm doing like a little TikTok morning vlog. Nothing makes me more happy than waking up early, going to solid core, going to Whole Foods. Like this is truly my dream day. And I wanted to document it on all platforms. <laughs> okay. So let's go journal, even though I don't have any pages left in my journal. Oh, I can take a page from my to-do list notebook. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Well, so you guys, I redid my nails. I did orange. I had those Sally Hansen ones on. Did I tell you guys about that? I don't know if I did. I bought the, usually I use Glamnetic or these ones are from Amazon and you like paint them yourself. They're so cheap on Amazon. But I want to try the Sally Hansen ones. I think, oh my God, I shouldn't be roasting this. I, I'm pretty sure it's Sally Hansen. I tried those because I was like, oh, I might as well give them, give them a try because they're like $6.99 and the Glamnetic ones are like $19.99. So, or like $15.99. They're like, it's like almost like double or triple the price. So, but they're really good. But I was like, yeah, I should, I should give the drugstore ones a try just to see how they are. No, and I use the same, I use the Glamnetic glue. So I know it wasn't the glue. And they were just like popping off like crazy, like after like three days popping off, like, and like when the Glamnetic ones pop off, like you can feel that shit pop off. You're like, oh, cause you just like slammed your finger on something really hard. You know what I mean? Like you, like they pop off. But like the Sally Hansen ones, like I wouldn't even notice when I would lose a nail because like 
I didn't, you know what, I didn't like hit it or like catch it on anything. Like I would just look down and be like, oh, I'm missing a nail. So they would just like pop off for like no reason. And like, you wouldn't even feel them pop off. And like the glamnetic ones never, ever, they would never do that. So you do, I'm not saying that they're bad, but like you do get what you pay for. I would definitely confirm that. So if you are trying to do press-ons, I definitely recommend trying the Glamnetic ones if you want like a good one. Um, I wish I had a coat or something, but I don't, but they do have sales a lot. So that's my update. I feel like that's very important information because a lot of people ask me about press-ons. So, and these Amazon ones for some reason, they, they don't pop off like that either. I don't know why, but I don't know if I'm loving, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I, I might take these off in like a week. I don't know, but like you can do that because like the literally the nails are like, maybe like fit like this is maybe like 50 cents for like this set so if i want to change them next week i can okay it's 6 20 now i'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes but I, it's actually cold today it's like 55 degrees out so i have a hoodie on but when i read the 11 set you guys look at my tan lines <gasps> oh my god <gasps> this is fake tan on my stomach though i told you guys my stomach does not get tan i had to put like i literally put like three layers on it to, to make it match my chest anyways what was i saying Oh my god, also you guys, first my washer is broke in my unit. So they're supposed to come today to fix it, but I don't know when they're coming. So I haven't had a washer for a couple of days. What else is my update? Oh my god, you guys. Remember how I said that I thought that I stress fractured my foot? Like I said that in my TikTok vlog when I went to solid curl last time. Dude, like I haven't been able to run in like a week. And I, it's not stress fractured, but I literally have tendonitis. It's called like per, peroneal tendonitis. It like, it's like the tendon that goes under your ankle, under your foot, and then it goes up your calf. And it is so bad. I like, like, even if I just go like, oh, like a little bit like that, ow, it hurts really bad. And I literally can't run and I don't know what to do. But I've been resting it. Like I haven't even been walking that much. Like I did the Stairmaster at the gym one day. I just did Pilates one day, so I haven't even been walking as much. I've been trying to like rest it and it's like not getting better. So, and I literally like, I can't even run like 10 feet cause it hurts so bad and I don't know what to do. I, I've obviously like rolled it out, like I've iced it and stuff. And so if you guys have any tips for like tendonitis, I used to have tendonitis in my wrists when I cheered, but it is like literally so painful. So, and of course now my knee doesn't hurt because you guys know the whole reason why I didn't run was because my knee hurt. My knee doesn't hurt at all. The day that my knee stopped hurting, this tendon started flaring up. Anyways, I'm so excited for class. I don't even know what it is. I think it's, is it glutes? I don't know. I literally love the last one. Like the last one, it wasn't even like crazy, like hard. Like my abs were definitely sore, but like it wasn't like, you know, I wasn't like dying like on the floor. Then it wasn't really scary either. A lot of people were commenting like, oh my God, I want to go to solid core, but I'm like scared. It really like, even going by myself, like, it was not scary. The coach was like, the coach or the instructor, she was like so nice and accommodating. She like, she, she like was like, oh, like it's Taylor's first class. Like I'm gonna help you the whole time. Like, da, 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 da. like she was very, very good about like making me feel comfortable and making me feel like good. So anyways, like don't be scared to go to solid core. Even if you have to go by yourself, it literally was not bad. We're gonna leave in a few minutes here. I'm so excited for today. I'm literally, I've literally, you guys know I've been not depressed. <laughs> So I'm really excited about it, but I just have had like a great feeling about June. Like June, I just feel like it's gonna slay. And like it is so far. And you know, I'm glad I got, I started my period. I got that out of the way. You guys, I was having like the worst freaking period symptoms. Like I, I was, I'm so glad that it started. So now next week I can be skinny. Cause holy shit. Like I was, I was, I woke up yesterday. <laughs> I woke up yesterday. I had a bowl of cereal, like my Raisin Bran, okay. And then I was still hungry. So I had a yogurt bowl with pro with a protein bar crunched up on it. I was still hungry. It's 9.30 a.m. And I was literally about to eat a bag of chips. And I was like, Taylor, like that is where I draw the line. Like you're not eating chips at 9.30 a.m. after you just had two breakfasts. So um, that's where I was at yesterday. So I'm really happy that I started my period. Solid core. It was so much fun again. I think I'm gonna buy like, I don't know, like a package of classes or whatever the fuck it's called. I think I'm gonna do that because I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start going, especially with my tendonitis now. Oh, it's really flaring up. So I think that, the, you know, the salad core is good for the tendonitis. And then on the days that it's sunny, I can walk. I'll probably only go like once a week though. Like nothing crazy. Cause honestly I was sore for like four days, but you know, you know, I, I'm actually, you guys, I'm shocked I even liked it. I'm shocked I even like came back for another round, but it was fun. It was great. I really like, I really do enjoy it. I can't believe I'm saying that. I've always been such a workout class hater. And then I was with my friend Bree. I put her in my little TikTok vlog that I was making, but yeah, great. Oh, and I forgot I started my period. 
wait I kind of it's actually you know when you're like I wasn't thinking about it and now that I just thought about it now I'm like oh wait it kind of hurts now fuck anyways it was like chest and like glutes today at solid corn it was really good honestly slay honestly I can't believe I like it do I like my nails though I don't think I do I think I need something different oh my god you guys like no actually like my cramps are hurting really bad now why did I have to think about it why did I have to think about it <sighs> okay you gotta go home shower push through the pain you know what'll fix me you know what'll fix me big fat bowl of raisin bran oh fuck oh my god I can't wait you guys I got an amazon package this better be all my shit I hope my journals in here oh my god Wait, did I buy? I forgot I ordered this. I ordered a fake tanner and I bought some, I think, the other day. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Whatever, I'm gonna fucking use it. That's for goddamn sure. Anyways, oh my God. Holy shit, look how big this journal is. It's huge. Wait, I love the color. I had like a smaller one, like this is like an eight by 11 and I had like a five by nine one or whatever the fuck it is. And I was just like, I was writing really small in the corner at the end to get in all my little things I needed to write down. So I got this big old one, but now this one's real big. I'm gonna be journaling real good. And then you guys, I got another one of these. I had one and then it like, just like got gross and old, but I, oh, but I love these. They're like the silicone, like loofahs. So you like put them on your hand, like in the shower instead of like, cause you know how like regular loofahs like get gross and like they have like mold in them or something. This one, it's like really nice. So I recommend if you never tried these, I really like these. That's my Amazon haul. Fake tan, a journal and a loofah. Now I just need, dude, I ordered Skims. I ordered a set from Skims on May 21st and I still haven't even gotten a um, tracking. It says it hasn't even been shipped yet. Kimberly, <laughs> Kimberly, what are we doing over there? I'm fucking pissed. It's so cute. It's like a pink, like matching. It's like a pink tank top, light pink, and then light pink, like little boxer shorts to wear as pajamas. Cause I don't have any summer pajamas. All my pajamas are like, full like you know legs and arms and i'm very sweaty okay and we all know i can't afford the air conditioning so i, I never put my air conditioning like my house is always at 74 when i sleep i do put it at 72 but i'm sweating in the night and i need that fucking set kimberly so send it over whenever you can and then i tell you guys i ordered new shoes too i got the f i've been wanting these shoes for like over a year and i finally just purchased them because they came back in stock on revolve and like they're out of stock everywhere else and um I'm trying to buy more clothes and so I can like wear cute outfits more. It's been my goal for like three years now. And I, so I just bought the fucking shoes. Okay. I've wanted them for so long. And then I also got a new shirt. Did I tell you guys that I got like a tank top? I did tell you this this morning. Okay. Sorry. I'll shut up. I have to shower. My cramps are cramping, but I'm going to shower. And then my reward for showering is going to be a bowl of Raisin Bran. Let's fucking go. You guys not to be dramatic, but my cramps hurt so fucking bad. Why the fuck do I drink this tea every day? Oh, it support, supports menstrual cramping. I've been drinking it every day for five months and I'm having a menstrual cramp. I can tell you that for sure. It hasn't been bad the past two months, but I don't know. So I guess something fucked up this month because it came seven days early and I'm cramping really, really bad and it really hurts you guys. I literally can't even move and I'm starting to sweat. I haven't had my raisin bran yet though because I'm like, I don't want to eat it while I feel you know, unwell, because then I want to eat it when I feel happy. But also I feel like it could make me happy. I thought that this tea would make it better and it didn't. I'm sweating. I'm like actually having a hot flash. Okay, it's fine. Oh, it's probably because I'm drinking this hot tea. Okay. But as of right now, I'm very unwell. I'm like shaking. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Happy Friday. I just threw up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened this month. You know, I've been doing so good. Last time I threw up on my period, I think was October. Cause I remember I threw up at my work and it was like my, it was like one of my last days of work and I threw up because of my period. So, um, I think November I had a really bad one too, but they've been good. I feel like since like December, January, like, you know, it's bad. Um, I do feel better now. So that's good. I mean, a little bit. I feel like I, I didn't puke that much. Um, so that's my update. Happy Feral Friday. I'm really excited. I haven't done, I have a bunch of stuff to do today and I haven't been able to do any of it because I've literally been like crying in pain um, from these cramps and from my hormonal fluctuations. So hopefully I feel, I'll start to feel better now that I puked or I'll puke again.
You see my hand shaking? Oh my God, my hand is shaking. Okay, goodbye. It's 11.19 now. I'm feeling a little bit better. So I'm having a poppy and I'm gonna try to get some of my editing done. Okay, it's been like an hour since I took that poppy clip. Oh, you can see like the life is back in me now. Um, I threw up, feel great. Um, I'm editing my video right now. I'm almost finished with it. I just recorded the voiceover for it. And yeah, probably just a few more edits and then I'll get that sent in, get my morning vlog on TikTok uploaded for you guys. And then we can finally, it's 12, 13 right now, finally start getting ready for Whole Foods and start that. I'm so excited. If anyone is like curious, I don't know, this is how it looks. I had about five minutes of footage that I edited down to 31 seconds. And then I recorded my voiceover and then I'm gonna have to edit it down again. Edit, go through all the clips, see which ones I wanna keep or delete or shorten or whatever to fit the voiceover and I gotta make sure that the voiceover is good. I just, I haven't listened to it back yet, but that's kind of what it looks like on my side. Okay, first listen to the voiceover. It was good, but I think we can do better. We're gonna re-record it. There was a little bit of like microphone noise, but I did good with like the timing and stuff. Actually, like it came together pretty well. Actually, oh my God, like I gotta say, I seriously love recording these. Like this is my favorite part of the month. All right, and we're live in three, two, a good day. No, I don't like how I said that. I don't like how I said that. We're rolling again. <laughs> I really need to send this in like really, really right now. Period, mic drop. I think that's the one. I think that's, I, I, I said it was only gonna retake it like once I've retaken it like nine times. Sometimes these ads are just too short. Like they want it to be 30 seconds, but like girl, I could talk about the product for so long. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I keep having to take stuff out. You guys know me. You guys know me, I can talk. I just started importing this footage. It's 11 a.m., it's 12 a.m. It's, what time is it? Okay, it's noon and I have like 30 minutes of footage. And they want me to make an ad in under 30 seconds for a product that I love? I can't do it. I think we got the one. I think we got the one. I came up with a different like little little pitch line in the, in the beginning. Oh, it was fire. Honestly, I gotta say. Now I just have to edit out all of my um, heavy breathing. I finished. And I think it's so good, actually. Like, you guys, please watch it. Will you please watch it and comment on it? I worked really hard on it. I filmed all day. You don't have to be yesterday. I wish you guys were there. I was recording my workout, like, in the grass. I wanted to get some, like, outdoorsy clips. Like, I was trying to be adventurous and crazy and get some outdoorsy clips for you guys. This is why I don't venture into nature, okay? I was in the grass, minding my own fucking business, filming my Pilates routine outside. And I look down, I was like on my hands and knees, like doing like my donkey kick things. A fucking worm. It's like crawling like right next to my hand. Oh no, I already puked today. I don't need to puke again. I hate worms. So I was very disturbed. And now I'm never going outside again. So every time I go outside, I like I went outside. I was at the park at nighttime, like as the sun was going down. The other night when, oh, that's how I was eating my Whole Foods pizza. You guys, oh my God, I tried the Whole Foods pizza. It was so fucking good. I was gonna vlog it, but I was with my friend. But you guys, I got bug bites and I think it's because my lotion has like coconut oil in it. So I think they were like really fucking with the coconut oil, like all the bugs. I have like nine bug bites on my legs. Bitch, I haven't gotten a bug bite in like five years because I don't go outside. And like every time I go outdoors, I, rem I am reminded why I don't go outdoors. I have to send this in. Then we're gonna edit the vlog for TikTok, post that. And then we can go to Whole Foods. I don't even know what, because I, I, I literally, like, I had my razor brand, threw it up, um, had a poppy. Oh, I was going to make tuna salad. Yummy! I was going to make tuna salad. I wanted to make, like, a TikTok video of my tuna salad, though. But I look so crusted, dusted, and busted that I don't think that I can do that today. Because you guys know tuna is good for you and your luteal phase on your period. Eat your tuna, even though, why the fuck do I even bother doing drinking my tea and eating tuna and getting in my omega-3s and eating salmon. I did all that and what happens to me? Oh, my period comes seven days early and I throw up and I feel like I was crying, you guys, on the couch. It was so painful. It was almost as painful as when my, what was that organ? You know, my gallbladder, when my gallbladder almost exploded. That was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. But my, the period cramps are a very, very close second. Anyways, good times. Oh, that was a crazy time in my life. I'm so glad that I'm past that. Wow, I was really depressed, you guys. If I'm gonna be so fucking for real, like that's why I had to stop doing my podcast because everything that I was saying was so depressing and I was so depressed and I couldn't talk about anything else because I had nothing going for me in my life. 
that, that's a cold hard truth. All the manners that we're slaying now, you guys, I don't know if I told you this. I don't really know if like you guys like care or anything, but like I just want, you guys care. You know what I mean? Like, Cause like only, you know, the few people that watch my YouTube videos, you guys care. But I signed with the talent agency and I haven't had like a talent agency before, like a manager or anything. And I'm really excited and I really like her. You guys like, you guys know, like I don't like people. Like I always think everyone's out to get, like I have, I am always very cynical. I'm like, no, they're out to get me. What's like the word, like hazardous, like, like of like trusting people, whatever. I met this girl, she got on the Zoom with me when we had like our initial meeting. And I was just like, boom. I was just like, I love you. I was like, I love her. And like, she made me feel so comfortable. And like, I never am like, I'm also along with being cynical. I'm also very indecisive, Ugh, my worst traits. Cause I'm a Libra. And so I never can like, like, picking a talent agency like that's such a big you know what I mean like big deal like that's the person's representing you like all your money is going you know what I mean like it's a big deal and I was like dude like I am never gonna like decide on this like this is crazy I was like I want to sign with her immediately like I just like knew that like I felt so good about it and my friend Abby is also signed with them you guys know Abby Aslan she signed with them too and so I just felt good about it because like she's obviously signed with them she's been with them for like six years and she has good things to say about them so that made me feel better but like I was immediately like so confident in like my decision and like I knew it was the right decision and that never happens to me you guys I'm always going back and forth wow so anyways I signed with them officially this week so it's like my first week of having a talent agency so that's just like something that's something going on you guys my hair don't fucking look at my hair ever tuna haul i just posted on my tiktok if you want to go see is tuna bad or you just don't know how to make it let's be honest here is there something in my teeth is it you or is it the tuna be honest ask yourself that be honest with yourself i'm gonna try this recipe let me know how it goes it what it could use like a little shallot baby yeah or like a green onion mm, anyways I can't be that culinarily advanced over here, okay? I live alone. You guys, the laundry machine man just came to my apartment. And he's probably like 60 years old. And I said slay to him twice. He was like, yeah, uh, the transmission looks fine. I think we're just going to need a new part here. And that's good, good news. And I was like, oh, slay. Like, I don't even know what to say. What would I say? Oh, like, maybe I could have said like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, fuck. I like didn't even know what to say other than slay. Cause the first time I said it, I was like, fuck, I can't say that. And then he said something again and I was like, slay. Let me pray. Oh, that's awesome. Like that's what I should have said. Fuck my life. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. He was probably like, what does that even mean? Um. Anyways, he's gone now. So he has to come back. So my washer is still broken whatever and now it's 3 10 i sent in my video i posted my pilates video from this morning and now it's time to get ready to go to whole foods except i'm feeling kind of bloated and i'm like ugh. like going to whole foods isn't as fun when i'm not like ravenously hungry foaming at the mouth like a rabies infested raccoon you know it's just not as fun like i don't even know what i want do i want chips i might get chips i can't get a tuna wrap because i just had tuna and then i'm gonna get mercury poisoning oh i get sushi Wait, that'd be kind of good. I could get sushi. Actually, I could get the Whole Foods pizza again. That shit was good. I don't, I don't know if I have any plans this weekend though. I don't know what I'm doing. That's like the best part about getting your period is like, thank God it's here so I can get it over with. You know what I mean? My period lasts on only like three days. See, like something's fucking going on with my hormones. Like what the fuck, what, what did I fucking do? Maybe it's because I've been being an alcoholic lately. You guys know I've been drinking like once a week the past two months, which is absolutely insane and my body is probably like girl what are you doing you being crazy girl i know i'm being crazy anyways i'm online shopping too i really don't i don't know if i'm gonna get this stuff from anthropology and um free people my issue when i buy clothes it's like then if i buy a new shirt it's like oh like now i need pants to wear with that oh now i need a bag and then if i get a bag then i need shoes that match the bag you know and it's like once i buy one item i have to buy like a whole new you know what i mean like i mean obviously sometimes you can buy a shirt and you can wear it with you know jeans and white sneakers you know what i mean but it's like the cute stuff that i want like i'm gonna have to get you know it's like then i need a purse and a shoes and a, and pants and a like and i just can't do that and then so much stuff like doesn't fit me properly so like pants like i really can only wear the abercrombie curve love pants like i don't even know the last time i wore another pant other than that. so it's like it's very limiting that's why i just wear tank tops and t-shirts and jeans but i need to stop doing that you guys i'm so sorry i forgot to update you i honestly have not been feeling good since like like i feel better obviously i don't feel as bad as like earlier but i still haven't been feeling good when i was like getting ready and stuff so i totally forgot that i was talking to you guys but i'm at whole foods now i still don't i'm still not really hungry and i still don't really know what i want though as like a snack hopefully my vlog goes well but i'm really not 
feeling well, but I gotta do it. This is me back in my apartment because when I got to Whole Foods, I realized I forgot my wallet at home. So I had to come back. It's okay, I'm not even hungry. Imagine if I was hungry. Imagine if I was like filming with my mouth hungry like I usually am. That would've been even worse. You guys, I'm so sorry. I need to eat this ice cream bar right now. You guys, my, I feel so awful. My vlog went good. It was good. It was actually like five minutes long before, I haven't edited it yet, but it was like five minutes of footage. I was like, girl, what the fuck was I saying in there? Anyways, I also realized it's like my two year anniversary of going to Whole Foods every Friday. It started two years ago, so happy anniversary to me. Um, but you guys, I feel so awful. <gasps> my stomach hurts so bad. I'm so fucking bloated. I'm so glad I don't have plans tonight because I literally feel like shit. I didn't even have a coffee today. That's how, yeah, that's how you know it's bad, but I got these fucking Fatso ice cream bars. I just, look at these. They're Van, Van Leeuwen brand. I don't know, but they looked insane. And I was like, you know what? It's my anniversary. Like, I don't have period. Like, I'm gonna regret it. And do that buffalo chicken. I got some fucking buffalo chicken wings. Burned my face off. I was, my nose was running. They were so spicy. I was like, they're honey, honey chipotle. Girl, where's the honey? Girl. You have my eyes watering. Anyways, ugh, I really like, I need this as like, I'm not even hungry. I just need this as emotional support, you know? It's better be good, it's pretty good. Yeah, I need to rest. I need some R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. I'm gonna edit my TikTok vlog and post that. And then I will show you guys what I got at Whole Foods. Cause I just, I just can't right now. Okay, I just can't. You guys, it's 9.06 PM. It's very much past my bedtime. I was just resting my eyes on the couch for a little bit um and i was like fuck i didn't show them when i got home foods you guys i'm really tired i need to take off my makeup and go to sleep and also i'm just like in pain like my stomach hurts like well my stomach and my uterus hurt so bad but you guys i got the full four pack of poppy i just couldn't be bothered to pick out the flavors this week so i just went with the raspberry rose delicioso i got some of this chicken this shit was really spicy it's boneless Honey chipotle, there was no honey. It was just chipotle. So those were really spicy, but whatever. I was craving chicken. I should've gotten the chicken tenders from the hot bar. Oh, wait, that's such a better angle. Okay, I don't have to hunch over like the hunchback in Notre Dame. Um, so I got those. I should've gotten the chicken tenders from the hot bar, but honestly, I've never gotten anything from the hot bar before and it kind of intimidates me because I don't want anyone to like watch me and then I'll get embarrassed. You know what I mean? Like, I, anyways. Cherries, it's cherry season. I love cherries. You guys, I got the stupidest fucking snacks. Like, what was I on in there? Like, what was I on? I got these, which, whatever. Like, they're fine. And then I also got, I already ate some of these. I don't know. I was having, like, an intuitive, like, thought about these. And I was, I like, kept thinking about them. Like, oh, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them. They were not that good. I think that they, I tried these, like, a year ago. And they must have changed the formulation because they were not as good. But you know what was fucking so fucking good. I just know I'm gonna get sick of this one day. It's literally gonna make me throw up to think about it. But the Catalina Crunch. I'm obsessed with it. I, it's open. I also ate some of this, you guys. I seriously, I'm literally eating like a cow. I have just an endless, I'm not even hungry. I just want food, you know, I don't know. Okay, anyways, this shit, I'm obsessed with. I can't wait to eat it in my yogurt tomorrow. It's gonna be so good, but I just know that one day I'm gonna get sick of it and it's gonna be like really bad. Like I'm gonna get really sick of it and it's gonna make me ill. Anyways. But it's so good. And then I got I got some yogurt, but it's in the fridge. I got those ice cream bars that were not very good. Did I say that? Yeah, I said that it was good after the first bite. But then as I kept eating it, they were not good. The Van Leeuwen. And I was expecting more because that's a very nice ice cream. It, it wasn't like a healthy ice cream brand. You know, it's like a good like luxury dairy brand, I feel like. And it was not getting it. It tasted like frozen water. Like it was not creamy at all. Anyway, so I'm pissed about that. Um, I got spearmint tea my pimples coconut water as usual you guys the lemons look so good this week i got five lemons they're all perfect i'm obsessed and then i got a then i got a free shavakadu of course and then i went crazy and i got blueberries too they just looked you know how like sometimes blueberries are like squishy and they're like fucking nasty so like i can't trust blueberries because you can't really tell by how they look but these ones just gave me a good vibe and i haven't had blueberries in a long time so i got blueberries too 5.99 Maybe $6.99. Look. Um, and that's all I got. Anyways, you guys, it's my bedtime. Need to get to bed. You know, who knows what the day holds tomorrow. I hope something fun and good. Oh, the sunset was so pretty too. It was so gorgeous. And this, oh, the sunrise and sunsets have been hitting lately. It's almost summer solstice. Oh, that's sad.
These are like the longest days of the year. Hopefully I will see you all next Feral Friday, but you guys know it depends on my mood. If I'm in a bad mood or if I'm not doing anything or if I don't have any updates for you guys, I can't vlog. I'm not gonna give you a subpar vlog. I'm gonna give you a nice juicy vlog. Good night, pray for my uterus. Why was she so off schedule? Why are my hormone fluctuations so bad? Why isn't my raspberry leaf tea working? I don't fucking know. Okay, anyways, you guys, I need to shut the fuck up. <sighs> Love you guys so much. Appreciate you. DM me on Instagram anytime. I'm so serious. Also, I'm gonna start going to solid core like all the time. So solid core vlog. No one cares. Like actually no one cares. Anyways, okay. Bye. I'm gonna miss you guys. That's why I don't want to say goodbye because I'm gonna miss you guys. You guys I totally forgot the whole reason that I motivated myself to get up off the couch right now was because I'm making a poppy. I already had a poppy today, but I fucking need another one. You guys, I'm, I'm going through it. Shut the fuck up. I didn't know I had these ones. You guys saw this right here with the lot of mine. Stop, this is literally God speaking to me right now. Okay, my magnesium supplement. <sighs> magnesium is supposed to be good for your period too, or for your uterus. So hopefully this can help her because she's having some issues. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. What the fuck was I saying? Oh, goodbye. Yeah, it's my bedtime. You guys know I love you so much. I love all of you that watch these videos. You guys are my bestest friends. Don't forget, you can DM me on Instagram anytime. I would love to chat with you. Let's get fucked up. Shiver me timbers. Oh my God. That is fucking good.